Hello, my name's Mark. Welcome to Living La Dolce Vida. Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Why do I always cough? <laughs> Anyway, uh, right, back down the allotment today. To, uh, should have done it yesterday, but uh, hopefully get, can sort it out today. But um, I want to put uh, some shallots and some onion sets in today. I was hoping to have done it yesterday, but uh, time went on and uh, took more time than I anticipated to prep this bed. Uh, it looks, I, I dug out a bit of a path and put uh, wood chips in between, but um, I've, t I've actually took out a little bit too much material material to uh, on the bed, but it'll level out over time. Anyway, so uh, I've prepped it with some sulphate of ammonia, both beds. Uh, I didn't have quite enough, but um, uh, this is ground up eggshells uh, so put that in there just to put a bit of extra into the ground I'll rake this in now or wolf tool it in and then uh, get some lines out to mark the beds and then uh, we'll get some planting done um, spacings for onion sets are what did they say now if I can remember six inches yeah, something like that. <coughs> um, I'll, I mean, <laughs> I'll do it roughly. I won't, you know, I'm not going to measure precisely six inches, but um, I think what I'll probably do is space them out first and then plant them. Right, let's get on with the time lapse. my shots and my sets mixed up uh, <clears throat> and then I finished off the bed uh, with red onions which I'll carry on now on, on this bed here so uh, what's that one two three four five six seven eight twenty four there <clears throat> I'm not worried about counting them exactly as such because uh, obviously when they start growing so I'm gonna plant these now what I thought was I'd I've got some spare bro bean seeds, so I'm going to put some bro beans in between the rows along here, as far as they'll go. And obviously they'll uh, grow up, and when they get to a certain size, I'll chop them down. And then the roots with the nitrogen on will help put some feed into the soil. <coughs> That's a the theory, anyway. Yeah, so I'm a bit, uh, I was a bit overzealous with the digging out <laughs> of the trench. <laughs> What it means then, because I've, I've lined the trench with, um, or the path, whatever you want to call it, with cardboard. Uh, put the wood chips on top, and of course you use a lot more material the deeper it goes. But um, it doesn't matter, I'll, it'll settle down over time. So I'm not going to film all of this, uh, I'll just show you the finished product. And then, uh, if I've got enough broad beans as well, I shall do this bit as well. So I'll do a little bit more time lapse of me planting these in. Uh, yeah, then we'll go from there. Bye for now.
Right, <coughs> so that's that bed finished. Well, I'll plant it anyway. Uh, I'm going to plant this one up now and I'm hoping, hopefully I'll have enough space for the rest of the onion sets plus the shallots. Should have. We'll soon find out anyway. Um, so I'm just going to do a similar system, three lines, and then space them out accordingly. Now the shallots need to be a bit further apart than six inches. Um, yeah, that's probably about eight, eight or nine inches apart. We'll see, I'll space them out. Uh, the only thing I've got left to do once all these beds are both planted up is to put some uh, hoops up and mesh over the top just to uh, protect protect them until they're established because the jackdaws and other birds come down and they root up the disturbed soil looking for worms etc and uh, that's to keep them off temporarily oh that's right I need to put some raw beans in here as well right that'll do for now right so that's the second bed planted up with <coughs> the remaining red onions and shallots and I've, um, and I've also put raw bean seeds in in between as well you know, I got spare raw beans, no problem. So I left the last one to show you what's going on. So there's, there's, I don't know if you can see it. There's one there. Uh, there's the, and then I'm going to plant the last one. Well, what's that? About six, about eight inches away, something like that. And uh, yeah, so. Obviously, I've right, got, a bit of, got a bit of space here now, but that's all right because uh, uh, what I may do, I want to plant some brassica seeds, so I may use this patch to grow on the uh, to grow some plants uh, to transplant later, like purple sprouting cabbages and stuff. Right, so. Uh, but next year, obviously, I've, I'm going to increase the amount. So, uh, did, how many did I have? 30, 38 shallots. Now, why 38? I don't know. <laughs> um, might, might have been uh, down to weight, because it was, you know, the, the price of the sets was by weight, not by number. So, I got 38. So, obviously, I need to I think I'm going to increase those up to... Uh, might do that up to 60 and uh, and the onions as well so I want you know a full bed of white onions there and a few more reds so I'm increase the number but, but the idea is to just use this these two beds for the onions and the shallots uh, yeah right so all I need to do now is get some nets over these two beds and uh, that's that job jobbed.
Well, hello everyone and welcome back. So, a bit puffed, but um, it's all this bending over. <laughs> Whew. That's just, uh, perhaps I'm a bit overweight. Anyway, that's the two beds covered over. As I say, it's only temporary measure until the sets um, get established once, you know, get, once I get some tops on them. And I know that the, the uh, roots are well established. Then the nets will come off. Whoo! Right. Oh, and I just realised. I've got another stone to put there. Right. So that's it. <coughs> that's me done for the day. Uh, need to look at my various books and charts to see what's coming in, going in next. And obviously, you know, I'm working my way down. So there'll be one bed here. Uh, probably should manage to get two beds in here. Okay, doke. So I don't want this film going on too much longer. Uh, there's quite a bit of editing to do. So uh, yes, big thank you to all my subscribers and new to anybody new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, let's see if I can get my subscribers up to a grand total of 100. <laughs> I've I actually follow I follow more YouTubers than I've got subscribers. <laughs> how how sad is that? But uh, no, I I what I tend to do is look at them when I'm having my food or a cup of tea or something in the house. So there we are. Okay, everybody. So I'm just going to call that a day now, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, um, if, if you should have any questions or something you're not, not quite sure of, obviously put them in the comments below and um, I'll try my best to answer those uh, questions or comments. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>